My friends, lovers of liberty, defenders of the republic, we have now seen the mugshot of Jared Lee Loeffner, uh, who reportedly uh, shot all those people in Tucson, Arizona on Saturday. And I've had uh, several days to do deep research on this guy. And he is clearly, uh, certifiably, completely a paranoid, violent schizophrenic. There is no doubt by any yardstick of imagination that that's going on. Uh, he wrote about how he believed he was really a woman. That's one of his personalities. Uh, then he dresses up like the Grim Reaper and burns the American flag while playing some type of death metal music. Uh, he's involved in taking care of dogs and animals in the neighborhood. That's another one of his helpful little personas. Uh, then he's also got a voodoo shrine giving oranges to the skull god uh, right out of Black Magic Santeria uh, in his backyard, and his parents allow him to have this shrine. I mean, this is truly bizarre. He likes uh, the Communist Manifesto, but also Hitler. He's certifiable. And what's incredible here is we have the mainstream corporate media posing as the left, openly calling for restricting free speech. Uh, and saying that, hey, we can't say throw the bums out, or if you say something that might incite someone else to do violence, that you're going to get in trouble. The end of the First Amendment. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, that we have uh, Joe Manchin of West Virginia, the governor, and others running TV ads, shooting bullets through the cap-and-trade bill, or Obama saying, if Republicans bring a knife to the fight, we bring a gun. I mean, this is part of the nomenclature, part of political discourse. Uh, the fact is, most of these mass shooters have been on serotonin reuptake inhibitors. We haven't found out yet uh, if the Tucson, Arizona Grim Reaper nut, as I'm calling him, uh, was on them, but uh, activists and medical doctors battled for years to force drug makers to put on the labels of Prozac and uh, other drugs in the same family, that it does cause suicide, that it does cause psychotic breaks, and in almost every case. Uh, mass shooters, Harris Kleibold, Kip Kinkle, uh, the list goes on and on. These people are on these drugs. His friends, uh, people at the schools had called the police. They'd been to his house but didn't serve a search warrant uh, when he was threatening people. So the warnings were there. We don't need more laws. When Cain reportedly killed Abel, uh, they didn't charge the rock or they didn't have a restriction on rocks. They you know, went after uh, Cain for what he did. It's very, very simple, but this is the larger issue. We are seeing a brazen attempt by the controlled media paradigm to engage in divide and conquer, or balkanization, to blame the left wing, to blame the right wing, uh, to blame other people's ideas for what happened, and to sell the idea that speech is evil and dangerous. And I'm really pretty freaked out by the so-called establishment left uh, openly endorsing and, and, and calling for all sorts of draconian attacks on free speech in this country. Hoping to make it a federal crime for a person to use language or symbols that could be perceived as threatening or inciting violence. Seeing the government uh, as an enemy. Alex Jones' website and, and by uh, Ron Paul. All the vitriol that we hear inflaming the American public by people who make a living off of doing that. Do you think you can get your colleagues in the wake of this tragedy to look at those magazines? I'm hoping that I can, but you know the way Washington is. Uh, it's going to be a battle, and they shouldn't be allowed for an ordinary citizen to own. This is a man fired up, uh, presumably, by some of the uh, very hot commentary out there. Well, what did Sarah Palin say, and what did Rush Limbaugh say? Those who put the crosshairs on Ms. Giffords, on those who used language demonizing liberals or Democrats. We intend to criminalize behavior that engaged in putting crosshairs or uh, bullseyes on members of Congress. Obviously, you don't want to see a gun going into the hands of those that are mentally ill. If you see something suspicious, say something immediately. The government is implying mind control and brainwash on the people. In a country that is intent on preserving the madman's right. And I'm really upset by Fox News and others trying to tie this to, quote, conspiracy theorist. That is anybody that questions the official government story. Well, I guess when I had all these top scientists and EPA scientists on the last decade covering that sodium fluoride at one part per million was doubling bone cancer, uh, causing dental fluorosis, causing IQ reduction. 
I mean, I guess I was a conspiracy theorist because I had the real medical literature. Uh, here's the Associated Press posted on MSNBC last week. Too much fluoride in water, government says. High levels causing spots on teeth. Recommended limit to be lowered. We have an entire hour-long Dr. Paul Conant interview that goes much deeper into what it's doing to the pineal gland, the thyroid, uh, the cancer statistics. I mean, these are facts you better not ignore. And all these years we were called conspiracy theorists, but now, because the alternative media is so powerful, they can't hide these facts anymore. Uh, so am I a dangerous conspiracy theorist for covering that? Uh, you go back just a few years ago, maybe one out of ten Americans knew the Federal Reserve was private. Now in major polls, it's over 80%, and people know uh, that it's a private banking cartel. Uh, they're demonizing Ron Paul and myself uh, on different television programs uh, for talking about the Federal Reserve now. Uh, the idea that the Federal Reserve was created as part of a vast conspiracy is not just embedded in the minds of people who are disturbed, but it's widely shared on you know, Alex Jones' website and, and by uh, Ron Paul. Uh, Implying that... We caused this guy to do what he did because uh, he mumbled something about currencies uh, in all of his thousands of different diatribes. Uh, I mean, this was an incredibly disturbed, bad person, and that's all the more reason we need our Second Amendment to protect ourselves. You know, Mexico has a total gun ban for all of its citizens uh, for you know, almost 100 years, and they have the highest crime rate in the world. It's the most dangerous to be a public servant there. That's not denied. Between 28,000 and 30,000 people have been killed down there in the last two years alone. They have a total gun ban, and they have restrictions on free speech down there. The answer is more guns, less crime. And I have firearms to protect myself, but you're thousands of times more likely to be killed in an automobile accident than to be killed by a gun. You're even more likely to be killed uh, by a lightning strike than by a gun. Look at the statistics and ask yourself why the media is hyping this so much and really brazenly calling for restrictions, not just on the Second Amendment, uh, but uh, on how much ammunition you can have and uh, on free speech. Let's not let this deranged, lunatic monster uh, and others that are sure to come along in the future in a nation of 300 million people, let's not let him... Uh, be used to put further nails in the coffin of liberty in this country. But in the final analysis, the good news is the tide has turned. Uh, more Americans uh, are waking up to the fact that the Second Amendment is all about dignity and self-defense and that the first gun laws were against African Americans in this country. More Americans uh, are waking up to, to, that there is an agenda to disarm uh, the people. And uh, more Americans are waking up that there is an agenda to have Internet ID tracking and Internet taxation and restrictions on free speech and all these FCC calls for it. And there's calls for the fairness doctrine to be brought back to have government control of broadcasting. Uh, look, you can't put the genie back in the bottle. The people have tasted real liberty. They've tasted true diversity. And even this congresswoman uh, was pro-gun, pro-border control. There's a lot of evidence that that's why uh, this lunatic went after her. I mean, if you've got to weigh all his political gibberings and ramblings, uh, you've got to say uh, he was more, quote, liberal than he would be uh, conservative. I mean, he thought he was a woman, loved the Communist Manifesto, uh, was engaged. his friends called him super liberal, but you can't blame liberals for this guy. And you can't blame, you know, the governor of West Virginia for it. And you can't blame Sarah Palin or Alex Jones, as the media is doing right now. Uh, you've got to blame this individual. Uh, but I don't even know if he should be executed. I mean, watching him, if he's not mind control, I don't know who he is. And that's another issue. He was obsessed with mind control. And he's got the classic M.O. of that. And we know that Theodore Kaczynski was in a CIA mind control program, the Unabomber. And now this guy wants uh, Kaczynski's lawyer. And we know so many others were. But whether he was organically a real Fruit Loop uh, or artificially turned into one, uh, let's not let this guy be used to destroy our republic. Liberty's on the march, tyranny is on the run, and the uh, days of uh, New World Order oppression are drawing to a close. That's why they want to accelerate a violent confrontation to short-circuit our peaceful restoration of the republic, because as Victor Hugo said, no army can stop an idea whose time has come. I'm Alex Jones, reporting from the front lines of the Info War. Visit InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. When you're on the site, you can also tune in 24 hours a day to my daily radio broadcast. There's also a free iPhone app to listen to the syndicated radio show when and where you want. Mm -hmm.